Hello, this is Michael Beard. As the sun enters into Cancer for the June solstice, I say June solstice because it is the summer solstice, the beginning of summer in the northern hemisphere, and the winter solstice in the southern hemisphere, the beginning of winter. That's how we keep the world in balance. At the time of this solstice, there are some potent energies to be aware of. Here is the astrological chart for the June solstice. The solstices and the equinoxes are when the sun enters into the cardinal signs. And here we see the sun at zero degrees of Cancer. And there is a strong cardinal cross at this time with the Sun and Mercury in Cancer opposite Pluto in Capricorn with Uranus in Aries and Saturn in Libra very strong cardinal energies and this has been going on for quite some time but when the Sun moves into Cancer it fills that other part of the cross this indicates that it's the time to get yourself on purpose the Cardinal Cross is the cross that relates to your spiritual purpose so these energies together are powerfully aligned from the four corners of the world that relate to where am I in relationship to the plan and what is my part because my part is my purpose if you don't know Uranus and Aries is bringing in new ideas that will change the world tune into your heart tune into your soul and seek that idea that you can get excited about an idea that would bring goodwill and positive change mercury in cancer is about communicating those ideas to the masses sometimes it's starts just within the home within your family your friends it has to do with being aligned with your higher mind and being attuned so that you can be present as a messenger for the forces of light Saturn in Libra has to do with that critical element of timing perhaps you don't see the full picture because you're still working out some aspect of your personal karma but now at this important time of the solstice with Saturn still in direct interplay with Uranus the bringer of change into the old structure you might say to yourself that it is time to make a shift so that I am synchronized with my soul's timing and not just the timing for the outer world and the outer necessities and the other part is Pluto Pluto and Capricorn is breaking down the old crystallized forms Capricorn as the mountain represents the highest possible spiritual achievements and you achieve by bringing the spiritual ideas down to earth Capricorn's an earth sign but the lower part of the mountain represents old ideas that no longer work for you that have become crystallized in your consciousness and block your path 
Pluto as the sword of truth represents your own growing spiritual awareness that becomes a new level of truth for you and that truth breaks the old crystallizations within yourself breaks the old ideas that no longer serve you breaks the old ideas that no longer serve a group or a nation or the world Neptune the spiritual ruler of cancer is an, an exact water trine to the Sun both at zero degrees this indicates an ideal time to tune in to your soul's vision for your future and with the moon the, lo the ruler of cancer on the personality level in a water triangle to Mercury it's the time to utilize the intuition to control the emotions and allow the intuitive nature to bring that vision into practical expression then with Neptune square Mars exactly again zero degrees it's a mutable square the mutable has to do with change and the ability to change Mars gives energy and enthusiasm and the desire to bring that change into action so this solstice is about purpose plan and goodwill in action.